In the short term, GDP fluctuates around potential GDP, generating positive or negative output gaps and unemployment different from structural unemployment. Economic policies that seek to keep output and income close to their potential value and employment close to structural employment are stabilization policies. Recall the stabilization policy that affects output and income by means of taxes and government expenditure is fiscal policy, while monetary policy affects income and output by means of the money supply and the nominal interest rate. But how do fiscal policy and monetary policy interact? To see that, we focus on the ISLM model. The IS curve indicates the relationship between the nominal interest rate and equilibrium output and income. So there's equilibrium on the market for goods and services anywhere on the IS curve. Also, since the LM curve indicates the relationship between Y and the equilibrium nominal interest rate, there's equilibrium on the money market anywhere on the LM curve. Consequently, there's simultaneous equilibrium on the two markets where the IS curve intersects the LM curve. Now, let's examine the IS and LM curves in more detail. First, focus on the IS curve. Recall that the IS relation is going through the usual steps to isolate Y on the equilibrium equation's left-hand side, we get where the fractions are the multiplier so that the right-hand side of the equation indicates the effect of planned aggregate expenditure on equilibrium output and income. Rearranging, we get... Here, these two groups of terms include the exogenous variables of the equation. The first group of terms indicate the effect on equilibrium income and output of fiscal policy. The second group of terms include other factors, like the exogenous term of the consumption function, exogenous investment, and exogenous net exports. While this term indicates the relationship between the nominal interest rate and equilibrium output and income, and thus the impact of monetary policy on equilibrium Y. Since I and Y are indicated along the vertical and horizontal axis of the graph, we measure this relationship along the IS curve. The other two groups of terms include the equation's exogenous variables. Together, they represent the intercept of the IS curve with the horizontal axis of the graph. Thus, an increase in T and or a decrease in G decreases Y at any interest rate, shifting the IS curve to the left as does a decrease in C bar, I bar, or an X bar. While a decrease in T and or an increase in G, C bar, I bar, or an X bar, shifts the IS curve to the right. 